hi fashion designer and welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you how to make this easy detachable shirt collar if you're looking for something easy but then beautiful this tutorial is definitely for you i'm going to start by marking a guideline which is going to serve as the shoulder line so from that shoulder line i'm going to mark three inches of which is going to serve as a button placket so from that line over here I am going to mark from shoulder to bust point line which is 10 inches in my case then again from shoulder to under bust and that's where I want the shirt to actually end now we're going to move on by creating the shoulder um, the neck width which is going to be three inches and the neck depth for the back it's going to be one inches Then again from the shoulder line I am going to mark 3 inches which is going to be the neck depth for the front. Now moving ahead to the shoulder line I am going to mark uh, from the neck width I'm going to mark 4 inches and then we need to create a shoulder slope and go down from that 4 inch go down by one and a half, and this is where we're going to be creating our shoulder slope. Now from the shoulder slope, we are going to reconnect this point back to the shirt hemming and I'm going to be using my curved ruler. And then now I am going to mark a line across which is where I marked the bust point line and then from this line I'm going to mark 2 inches to create a dot and the width of the dot is going to be half inch. So now on the button placket, I'm just marking one inch and this is where I am going to fold it when I sew it right on these lines. Now for the back pattern is very easy. I'm going to go ahead and trace around this line and the neck width for the back, the shoulder, including where the bust point is. Now, once we're done drafting the back pattern, it's time for us to cut out the front pattern. Now, for the front pattern, I am going to, on the shoulder, I'm going to mark one and a half inch to separate this piece and attach it to the back uh, pattern. So I'm going to cut it out and then attach it to the back piece right on the shoulder. And once you are done, this is how the back pattern will actually look right on the neckline. Now for the collar, you want to measure the neckline for the front pattern, including the back pattern. So I'm going to place them together like so and measure only the neckline. Now I'm going to take the new pattern paper, which is going to be on fold and mark that 7.5 inches which is the neckline of the front and the back now the width of this collar is going to be around one inch so basically we are drafting a rectangle shape now to add a button stand i'm going to take the front pattern and measure the button stand for the front pattern which is around one inch and i'm going to include it on that rectangle now we're going to take the back pattern and measure again the back neckline which was 4.5 inches and place it right there at the rectangle. We're going to lift this part over here right to the corner of the rectangle like so and then we're going to lift or rise this point here by one inch again and reconnect it back to the 4.5 right here we're going to reconnect it back with the curved ruler now to shape this uh, collar i am going to go in by 0 0.6 of an inch and then shape it with my curved ruler and the pattern is complete 
Now the pattern is complete. The next thing that you need to do is to add seam allowance all around it and then make sure that you do the same thing with the other pattern. I went ahead and I cut out an organza fabric which is around um, three inches wide while it's on fold is actually one and a half inch. Then I'm going to take one piece of the collar to attach this organza and I'm going as I'm attaching it on the collar I'm going to be pleating it all around the collar stand. Then on the other piece I went ahead and I attached the facing and I am going to place it right sides together like so and sew the sides including the top part also. Now to avoid any bulging make sure that you do cut out or trim out the corners and then turn the collar the correct side. And for a neat finish please don't forget to press iron. I'm going to take my front panel piece and I'm going to go ahead and sew the side dot with a straight stitch. I've done this for both front panel piece. I'm going to take the back panel piece and place it the right sides facing with the front and I'm going to pin it right at the shoulder and sew a straight stitch. Now for the button placket, I went ahead and I ironed it and I fold it in. Then the next thing is to sew a straight stitch right on the inside. And this is how it turned out. Now for the collar, we, we need to attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin it down, then take it to the sewing machine and sew around the collar. And this is how it turned out. To hide all the rough edges, I'm going to push them in between and then finish this collar by sewing a top straight stitch. Now I went ahead and I created some strips right from a bias. So I'm going to attach these strips um, one inch above the dot and also at the back one inch above from the bottom. Then I have a bias tape of which I'm going to finish off the edge of the shirt collar. And I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch right around. And this is the final result. I really love how this shirt came out. And of course, you can go ahead and accessorize it as much as you want. I hope you will enjoy making this project as much as I did. As for me, see you on the next one.